Some franchises, they um, uh, pretty quickly start doing things that are really out there. You know, mm -hmm. I, I love Halloween 3, but you know, if it doesn't have much to do with the other ones, uh, is an understatement. Uh, so y you kind of want to make sure that you're, you're, you're doing your core story. Um, you want you want to have people on your team that are that are very committed, you know, and are, are giving their heart and soul to it. Uh, I think probably the closest comparison might be the paranormal, paranormal activity in its heyday because it also started as a as a very simple low budget story. But um, the way they moved forward with it um, was kind of similar because uh, first it was a prequel. To, to Paranormal One, and then it was a prequel to that, and uh, I, I, I don't even, I think four might have been a prequel too, but, but they, they tried to, they tried to um, sort of interleave the stories all together, so you know, they, they would be referencing each other in ways that were rewarding for the audience. When you talk to the fans, you have to listen, you know, and what do the fans say? They say, we love those early Saw films, we love Tobin Bell. We love that relationship with Amanda. You know, we want those traps to be diabolical <laughs> and horrific. And, you know, I feel like that's what we gave them. It's very scary the first time you watch Saw 1 when you see this, this freaking puppet yeah. come out. In, in this one, we knew there was going to be cheering when yeah. he appears. And uh, we wanted to ride a little bit of the playfulness of, of just the absurdity of this puppet driving with no visible means. You know, James and I always talked about in, in Saw 1, you know, there's, there's this guy on the floor like <laughs> pulling him forward and then pressing a button to make the mouth say, uh, you know. You, Much respect to that guy. Yeah. But the Billy now, in many ways, has become the ambassador oh. of Saw X because we see him all over Las Vegas, we see him in Mexico City, we saw him in Los Angeles, and he is the face that, you know, so many people just absolutely adore Billy. They absolutely love him, and when he was on set, you know, all the crew would like to get their photos taken. They, he's, a, he's just loved. We start with the pages, you know, the outline of those traps, and then it, it really starts getting into, into, like, taste. You know, so Kevin and I have our taste of what we want, what we feel is horrific. Uh, that a lot of changes happen when we start doing the tests because certain things are going to work, some things might not work. Uh, we want to emphasize uh, the brutality. Uh, you know, we put together uh, storyboards. The storyboards really, you know, tell us what we're doing. Sometimes it's not all of the crew, there's just part of the crew uh, running the wheels of the gears. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day, we just want it to be a true reflection of John Kramer.